So a superbug is a bacteria that is resistant to most or all of the antibiotics that we would normally have to treat that bacteria. And there isn't one particular superbug, there's actually several different kinds. Some of the ones that we're most concerned about lately uh, are methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, or MRSA. Another one that recently got a lot of attention is what's called carbapenem-resistant Klebsiella pneumoniae, or CRKP. Uh, that in, uh, bacteria in particular is very concerning. So people could come in to the hospital or, or catch a uh, routine infection, and we have very limited antibiotics to treat that infection. Most of these infections are in people who are chronically ill, who may be a dialysis patient or on a chronic ventilator, and these are not striking randomly people who are walking down the street. Um, but uh, for people who are involved in those environments, these are things we're seeing increasingly, and it's becoming a public health concern. How this works is you just streak your bacteria out across this entire plate and then drop different discs that contain antibiotics onto the plate. And so each disc has a specific concentration of antibiotic and the antibiotic will diffuse out away from the disc. Um, and so near the disc is a high concentration of antibiotic and further away from the disc is a lower concentration. Occasionally we get an organism like this where we see essentially no zones of inhibition around any of the discs. And you might see, you know, a small zone of inhibition here, but really that's not significant enough for that drug to be effective against that bacterium. You know, when we see this in the lab, that is of concern for us, I guess you could say. So hand washing is critically important uh, to prevent the spread of resistant bacteria, but also making sure that your healthcare workers, your doctors, nurses, uh, physical therapists, they're washing their hands and that they're uh, uh, not having contact with sick patients. Another thing that we're doing is putting patients with these types of infections in isolation. Doctors have to wear gowns and gloves when they have contact with patients who have these infections. Antibiotic resistance isn't a, a new problem. That's something we've known from the very first days patients were getting antibiotics back 70 years ago. Uh, what's different is that as antibiotics have become more and more widely abused, uh, the bacteria are becoming resistant to more and more different types of antibiotics until we're finally starting to reach the point where we've run out of antibiotics to treat the bacteria. Antibiotics are the only class of medications where when I take it, it not only impacts me, but has the potential to impact other people around me. Because if the bacteria that I have get resistant to an antibiotic, it can spread to other people. It's the only class of medications that work like that. I think the most important thing is to treat antibiotics like a, uh, a limited natural resource because that's really what they're becoming.